Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new stamp set that will be featured in our annual catalog starting May 4th, our new catalog that's coming out. I am so excited for this new catalog. I can show you the front of it. So pretty. I'm so excited. One of my favorite sweets that's in this catalog is the Pansy Petal Sweet, and I wanted to show you some of the products that are in there and then some of the cards that I've come up with using this suite of products. I'm so excited. I love, I think it's so cute and springy, but summery at the same time, bright, colorful flowers. I love it. So it has this Pansy Patch stamp set, which I love. It's a builder stamp set, so you can build pansies the cute little flowers, and then these really cute sayings. I think they're so cute. The little things you do make such a big difference. Wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. So cute. Love it. And the and it has some dies that will coordinate with it. These are the pansy dies. So you can build um, different pansies, which I will show you in just a second. But one of my very favorite things in the suite, which usually it is, <laughs> is the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper. Is that not just the prettiest paper? I love it. The colors, oh, just so much fun. So on one side you have all of the pretty flowers, the floral designs, and on the other you have just some regular patterns. I love this little gingham pattern that's in here. So cute. Love, love, love. So I wanted to show you how to put together one of the pansies that you can cut out with the dies, um, just to give you a little idea of how it works. So I have pre-die cut all of these little flower pieces out, and I wanted to just show you kind of how to put it all together here. So you have your leaves. Here you have, there's four different pieces that will make up these two leaves. There's the bigger piece that's the solid piece and then the top piece that kind of adds a little bit of dimension on there. And I've already put those ones together. So you can kind of see how they layer together and just make it really cute and pop. But I wanted to show you how to do the flower part. So we're gonna start with our big piece. I cut it out in the basic white and I'm just gonna use my green um, Tombow glue it's really good for projects like this. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm just gonna do a little strip here along the sides of this piece that tops the base piece here. If you're wondering what this color is that I'm using on this detailed piece, this is one of our new in colors, Pell Papaya, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to take these other two petals. They also have these little um, details that you put on top, so I'm just gonna grab some more of our green glue and build that right on top, just right on the edge of it. And it's so nice. It, fits just perfectly on there. It's not really hard to get lined up or anything like that. I'm going to do two of them. Build our pansy, maybe. <laughs> okay. And this I am using Calypso Coral. Okay. And now I am going to take these two, whoops, Got to give it a minute to dry, I guess. I'm going to take these two petals and I'm going to put them on my big one. So I'm going to use glue dots for that because I love glue dots. And I'm just going to stick that right one on either side here. like that. Okay. And then this is going to line up right on top of here, just like that. Right there. And then we have our little inside. 
I used a little bumblebee piece, but I've seen people will use like black for the center of these too. That would be really cute. And just like that. And then you add your leaves in, just like that. And you have a cute little pansy. Is that not adorable? I love it. So let me show you a few cards that I've come up with using this and the other elements um, in this suite. So here is this flower. I put it on, um, I use the DSP from this suite. I love it in the background. And then I put a cute little in color jewel right there in the middle just to give it a little glam. So cute. And then I did another one. This one I used the stamp set with in the background. You can see how cute that is. I built another pansy here all in white. I thought that was kind of cute. So fun. And this new in color ribbon. Love that. Here's another one I used. I did using the cute DSP in this in this suite to kind of show that off. This um, little flower here also comes in the die set. Love that. And one more here. This is a fun gift card layout. Beth did a video on this layout a few weeks ago. You can always go back and find that to see how you can make this cute gift card holder. So fun. I have had so much fun playing with this new suite of products that's in the new annual catalog coming out May 4th. If it's something that you're interested in purchasing, make sure to go to our website, stampandjill.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.